Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk about my top three reasons to use a VPN service such as CyberGhost. You can see CyberGhost over here on the right, and I do have a link to it down below. They do have a free version of the service, which is pretty nice. So anyway, my top three reasons for why to use a VPN. Number one, you can change your IP address to a different country for use with various uh, services and apps that exist out there on the internet. So. A lot of things like video and music streaming services are actually region locked. So if you're in a location in the world that hasn't been connected to that service for legal reasons, you can get around that by um, using CyberGhost or another VPN to basically change your IP address to show up in a different country. Now, in some cases, this may go against the terms of service, so it's up to you if you want to go ahead and do that, or you can look at the terms of service and see if they actually allow that. In any case, you can definitely fake your IP address. Uh, basically, make it so that you look like you're anywhere in the world, like right here, I look like I'm in Hong Kong, but am I really? Um, and uh, yeah, that's definitely a use you can use for it. Uh, number two, in general, they help to anonymize what you do online and to block uh, website trackers from basically reading your data and putting together a giant portfolio of uh, all the things you're doing on the internet. Because uh, usually what you do is tied to back to your IP address and when you use a VPN, the IP address shows up as the services server so they don't really know exactly which computer the stuff you do is coming out of. Now there's exceptions to that, of course. If you're logged into an account, like a Google account, and you go browse YouTube, that's still gonna show up. It's still gonna be logged to any of your accounts that you're using out there. So you have to be careful about that. Um, it's not going to be like a foolproof plan for everything, but um, at least at the IP level, when you go visit a website, they're not gonna be taking your data and uh, using it, or at least it won't be accurate because it won't reflect your IP address. So next up, the third reason, and this is one I've been kind of enjoying lately and kind of my main reason for wanting to make this video, is that good VPNs can actually help to block malicious ads or websites. So on the internet, there are a lot of ads that are fine, um, like Google AdSense, and then there are ads that are more annoying, like pop-up ads, some of which may try to hit you with some uh, malicious download links like, oh my god, your computer's infected, click here to download this great antivirus immediately. Yeah, clicking on those sometimes will get your computer infected. So good VPNs basically filter out bad ads against a list and it will help to protect you. And you can use that in combination with um, something like a extension on your web browser, like uh, Adblock Prep plus for extra protection. Um, but anyway, it can help to protect you from uh, basically some of the malicious sites that are out there. Obviously, some VPNs are going to do this better than others, and some may not even have any of that server-side ad blocking features. But that's definitely a cool thing. When you see a pop-up, which may have otherwise potentially been really bad for you, and it's just completely censored out, and you know you get that message you're like blocked by CyberGhost, it's pretty nice. So. Uh, that's going to be my three main reasons to use a VPN. Uh, obviously, uh, there may be some other minor benefits, but I think that those are the three main ones. When you do choose a VPN, though, you probably do want to go with a good service because one of the most important things about VPNs is how fast they are. Uh, I did a previous video comparing Slick VPN to CyberGhost in terms of their server speed. CyberGhost did come up on top. I'll actually include a link to that down below as well, so you guys can go check that out. But anyway, VPNs are pretty cool. Good tool to have around, uh, especially if you value your anon uh, anonymity. Am I saying that right? Anyway, thanks for watching. I've been Chris, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my future video content.